That test will come from this opponent, as well as the conditions. It's hot. No climate controlled outdoor stadiums yet. Those are to come next week, but instead, 31 degree temperatures and heat not experienced by most in the group before. The star players in the 11 here today. For John Herbin's Canada side, it's a more familiar looking group with a couple notable absentees. Alfonso okay. Davies is said to be a bit behind schedule on his return to and a better opponent this time around as well. This is the seventh consecutive World Cup for Japan, making it out of the group stage in 2018, only to go up 2-0 on Belgium before eventually falling 3-2. What will this match bring? Could very well be reality check time for Canada, a real eye-opener for the players and the country. Just where do Canada stand going up against better competition outside CONCACAF? Will today expose a difference in standards? What the requirements will be in Belgium, Croatia, Morocco, and games to come? World Cup. There's no place to hide here today, and no holding back. Just six days ahead of their opening match in Qatar. 2001, I think it was. And what a Ball played over the top. It's touched on, and it's in. Yuki Soma just got enough, and it beats Milan Borian. A goal virtually out of nothing. And Japan takes a 1-0 lead. I see that. That can't happen. John's going to be disappointed with that. Especially conceding so early in a match. It was a simple run, just letting each other know what's around them. Good ball, Johnston, Buchanan. And it's going to be Canada's first corner kick of the game coming up here in the 11th minute. We're down 1-0, nine minutes in a match. How do we handle this? Hoylet, Vittori is there. The regular target, Steven Vittori. Laren was in behind, just couldn't knock that down. Vittori is pushed up again, so is Miller. One of the places of the far post, Laren. Knocks it down inside the six. It was available. Johnston, good hit. Victoria just tried to turn that guided on target. Decent pressure there by Canada. You can see what he was trying to do there. Just that little glance and header on target. Chance here for Japan. Ball hit from distance just by Milan Borian's post. Things opened up a little bit too much. It's Kubo of Real Sociedad with the chance. Takefusi, Kubo. Once a Real Madrid player, never ended up playing for Real Madrid. But we do have to mix it up, not be predictable. Hoyle, a good corner again, Atiba, Victoria! Steven Victoria gets the equalizer. Wonderfully taken set piece by Junior Hoylet. And it's 1-1. What a great ball into the box. Fantastic delivery. Whips it in. Atiba just gets enough on it, just directing it towards goal. And Vittoria is there to finish it. Sakai. To Soma. I think one thing that we've learned about this team as well, whether they're, they're down 1-0, 2-0, it doesn't matter. Good step by Vittoria. David. He has options. Buchanan. Tejon Buchanan! Kick save. That was better. Good press by the Canadians. You can see every time a Japanese player gets on that ball, the Canadians right behind him, putting pressure on him. Victoria does ever so well. Being the big man at the back, wins the ball. And a great threat of pass as well into Buchanan. It gives the Canadians another set piece. Another good delivery here. Boil it again. It's good. Vittori is there. So is Kamal Miller. Comes off a Japanese defender. Last in Canada will try it again. Another great ball into the box by Junior. And that's what the big men will want. Yeah. 
Johnson to be candid again. This combination has worked to Jonathan David with a touch. David on his left foot. Herdman encouraging Hoyland. Just missed Laren. David takes that up the ball up the foot of Tanaka. David. Well, Jonathan David has been something special already. Why there's so much hype. We've seen it on full display. The commitment to defending, the footwork, just the finish betrays him here. It's a few times he's won that ball in good areas. Canada bringing that defensive line very high, very quickly, they have limiting to. time and space. Ball over the top. And, and that's the risk that you take. You, you see that high Canada line. They've been doing that regularly here in the first half, Jimmy. Toilet. Plays it into the six. Laren was there. A little bit awkward. Was Looked like he was hit. As he was in the air. Another great ball. I'll tell you one thing. You're scouting this Japanese team. You're what looking at Gonda. He does not like balls whipped into that ball of the utmost priority. So three changes coming up for Japan here. We'll, we'll walk you through what those changes are as it becomes more clear. Yamane's gonna come in, he's a fullback. Doan as well, scored two goals in his last three games. Ball player to the top, Joss to Laren. Laren's there! The goalkeeper Gonda had to be good. Buchanan, good ball. Knocked down, Hoylitz! Defender got out just in time. Jumani. Johnston, his 28th consecutive game for Canada. To Buchanan. Tejon inside. Almost comes off. It's good to see Johnson and Buchanan. Buchanan 1v3. Loses out. Minamino steps past Vittoria. The connection on the shot simply not good enough. Crafty move inside, Minamino reaches for that left leg. Just didn't make the contact that he wanted, did he? But you have to give credit to the Japanese players there. Made it very difficult for Buchanan. Didn't give him any space. But as soon as they did win it, it was how quick can we get to that goal? That he was supposed to join up or the hope was he would join up with Canada tomorrow. David, give away ball, give away in the middle of the park. Jonathan, David hits! Wrapped his foot around it a little bit too much, but another time where David wins the ball in the middle of the park. Yeah, again, he wins. he's winning in good areas as well. I would have liked to have seen him go at the defender a little bit more, though, maybe drop the shoulder and give himself half a yard, and then pick his corner. Here, got the defender squared up. You've got the skill to drop that shoulder and shift them. You can see there, he's trying to move them a little bit. Hey, to Lorea, good ball. Lorea goes down, penalty! Penalty given! Canada slice Japan wide open! Lorea goes down, no doubt, and Canada give it a late pen. Fantastic play as well by the Canadians. Just patience. Patience. Lucas Cavallini. Just barely gets over the line. Oh, Canada. Oh, baby. Lucas Cavallini. You weren't sure if it was going to make it there. God to God, a piece. But the football gods smile in Canada's favor. And they're going to go into the World Cup with a 2-1 win. Cheeky, cheeky little finish that one.